temperatures. Nothing but bone dry, sand, dirt and rocks for as far as the eye can see. Yet still, somehow, life exists in these deadly environments. Join me on a fight for survival as we explore some of the driest places on Earth. Deserts. What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we're learning about deserts. But before we begin, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen right now. Deserts are dry, arid places that receive 25 centimeters or less rainfall a year. When we first think of deserts, we often think of places where the sun is so hot that you could cook an egg off this guy's head. And yes, a lot of the time they are, but not necessarily all deserts are hot. In fact, some deserts are actually pretty cold. There are four main types of deserts. Hot and dry deserts or subtropical deserts, cold winter deserts or semi-arid deserts, coastal deserts, and cold polar deserts. Subtropical deserts are some of the hottest deserts on the planet. And if you want to explore these deserts, here's how I like to do it best. So as you may already know, the equator is a giant imaginary line that runs around the middle of the Earth. On Earth, the equator is close to the sun all year round, so as you can imagine, things are pretty hot here. The sun heats the air and moisture, the hot air and water vapour rise into the atmosphere, which causes clouds. The higher you get, the colder things become, so the clouds turn to rain and the water falls back down, meaning all that's left behind is now dry air because it's lost all of the moisture. This dry air begins to cool down and it either sinks north or south into the subtropics. This is what we call the Hadley cell and it explains why subtropical deserts are so hot and dry. Semi-arid deserts are cooler deserts with cold winters. They are often surrounded by mountains which block out moisture carried by clouds. Instead, the rain falls in the mountains and rarely reaches the deserts, which explains why semi-arid deserts are so dry. Coastal deserts are found near the coast where the land meets the ocean. Despite these deserts being close to the water, they still remain very dry. To get a proper appreciation for these deserts, I think it's time to see them from a different perspective the sky. cold ocean currents that run along the coast cool down the air which makes it difficult for the air to hold any water or for the rain to reach more inland. Polar deserts such as Antarctica can technically be called deserts because of their low levels of rain or snowfall. Because it's so cold, water rarely has a chance to evaporate and even when it does, most of the time, 200 mile power winds blow it away before it has a chance to reach the atmosphere to form clouds. Plants such as cactus have adapted to surviving in these difficult climates in many ways, such as thorns and spikes to reduce water loss and protect them from animals, shallow wide roots to absorb as much water as they can when it rains, and thick waxy skin to reduce water loss as well as large stems to store water. Animals such as 
Camels have also evolved to survive in these conditions and have many adaptations to help them do so, such as long eyelashes to protect their eyes from the sand, wide feet so they don't sink in the sand, and a hump full of fat that allows them to go without food and water for a very long time. We're out exploring the desert of ancient Egypt. Despite deserts being extreme environments, there are actually groups of people who live in these harsh conditions. The Bedouin tribe can be found in many parts of the Middle East and have adapted their lifestyle to live in these places. Desertification is a process by which fertile land for growing crops becomes a desert wasteland. This can happen for many reasons, such as climate change, too many animals overgrazing in the area, and an increase in population, which leads to overfarming, causing deforestation and soil erosion. Without plants holding soil together with their roots, soil erosion occurs. Crops begin to die, leading to famine. Fewer plants and animals can survive in the area, and so people migrate, leaving behind a barren, uninhabited wasteland. Thankfully, it can be avoided by being careful to avoid overgrazing and using clever farming methods such as contour plowing, mulching, and planting more trees. We can reduce water loss and erosion. Recap time! Deserts are dry, arid places that receive 25 centimeters or less rainfall a year. There are four main types of deserts, subtropical, semi-arid, coastal and polar. Some plants and animals, like cactus and camels, have adapted to live in deserts. Desertification is a process by which fertile land turns into barren desert wastelands. And so it comes to the end of our video about deserts. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and check out some of the other videos on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.